This is V from a Canadian RVer. This is my very short video of how I winterized my uh, Splendetti uh, washer dryer. So again, at this point, I've got the air compressor hooked on. I've got the lines full of uh, air. So we're going to carry on from this. If you wanted to watch just this part of it, you don't have to watch the full 30 minute video. In the back part of our RV, uh, we have a Splendetta and this is a combo washer dryer and this is the one that's not vented and what it does it uses con uh, condensing uh, cold water and hot water to dry all the clothes it does a good job but of course not any real heavy heavy towels or anything is always a challenge for that so um, nine times out of ten we'll take those either to a laundry mat or just hang them outside in, in the air but we're going to winterize this and this is uh, a process that I'll be doing as a standalone too, just um, concentrating on all this. So um, my Splendetta, we will be winterizing this um, and uh, I'll, I'll do it step by step and, and show you how I do that. Now let's do it uh, to our washer and dryer. So we're going to turn it on. We're just going to say uh, hot and cold and we're going to call it that we want it uh, cycle three which is regular and we're going to say start and you can hear that it's blowing all the air out of the lines We're going to switch it over to hot. We're going to turn it off right now. That's off. This time I've put it over to hot because I want to blow out the, the hot lines, basically the hot water side. So we're going to turn it on again. I'm going to wait, we're going to start it again. There's everything out of the hot water side. We're going to stop it again. Turn it off. This time go to the cold side. Start it. Turn it on. Start it again. And you can hear that it's just actually blowing all the, wa the water out of the lines. Now we're still going to put plumber's antifreeze into this. Hold it. Turn it off. Good, so we're just gonna leave it at that right now until we flood the system with plumber's antifreeze. We're back at the uh, washer dryer right now and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just uh, leave it on both, uh, hot and cold. We're gonna turn it on and uh, we're just gonna just do, if we're doing a normal uh, wash cycle, and this time we want the pink antifreeze to go into the system. You can hear it now that it's uh, pouring in. And we want it to fill up quite a bit, at least so we can uh, also go through the, the, the pump. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera there, it's just coming up with pink in the unit. There we go. Now it's gonna drain. Perfect. We're just waiting for it to cycle and it should start filling again. I've just turned it over to hot.
There it goes again. That's the hot side. And I'll flip it over to cold. Back to the middle. And you can see where it's filling up at the bottom there. And just one more time, we want it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it. There it is, stopped. And you can see where the, the fluid is at the bottom of the uh, washer. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, put it over to drain. There's the drain control right there. I'm gonna turn it on again. Well, I can turn it off. That's okay, just to reset the program. I'm gonna power it on again. I've got enough pink fluid down at the bottom. I've got it on drain and I'm gonna say start. There goes all the pink solution out of the bottom. And you can hear it going down the drain. So that's how I winterize my uh, Splendetti. And it's just gonna turn off in a minute here. So what I've done is I've actually flushed it out with air first. The next thing I do is I pump up my plumber's antifreeze and there it is, it's finished. It's already pumped out. I'm gonna turn it off. There it is. The door unlocked and I'm turning the power off. So now it opens up. I've had the pink fluid all down through the bottom. It's gone through the motor system or the pump system that uh, drains the water out and it put it down the drain, which is perfect. So this is now totally winterized and uh, ready to go for winter.